For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. All right, guys, now we have this um, distributed load that's exerting a force against V, but notice something. The load is not given in a unit of force, it's given on a unit of pressure. Now, KPA is equal to Newton over meter square. To convert this into Newtons, you will have to multiply by the unit of meter square. In other words, this is this meter square, so it will cancel out and we will get the Newtons. It's an area. So basically what we have to do is we have to find a way of multiplying this function by the area. And the area is given because they tell you that the wall has a width of five meters. Five meters. Now check it out. If you want to find the force, you know you got the integral, right, of 4c to the 1 half, but this is in kPa, dc. However, if you say is this function from 0 to 4, because from here to here is 4, you got the height. And then you got to multiply by the width, which is 5. So as you can see, we have an area right here. The integral takes care of the, of the length of the wall and the five takes care of the width and that is an area because it's five meters and the zero is from zero meters to four meters. So that's a meter square that cancels out and gives you this force in Newtons. Hope you follow me over there because it took me a while to understand it. Now, this comes out to be 20 c to the 1 half, the integral from 0 to 4 dc, which comes out to be 20 c to the 3 halves over 3 over 2 from 0 to 4. And when you solve this, you get that this is the force is equal to 106.7 newtons because the meter squares of these and the meter of the five cancel out and all you're left with is newtons. Now C bar, C bar is that this is from here to a random place here. This is C bar where the equivalent force, which is this force, will be applied if you were to replace the system. Now C bar is given by the integral of C times 5, remember, times the function, which is 4C to the 1 half dc over the same integral that we did before. 5 times 4 c to the 1 half dc. You know that this bottom we already found. Oh, remember everything here is from 0 to 4 meters. So the bottom we already found and the top comes out to be the integral from 0 to 4 of 20 c to the 3 halves dc all over 106.7. 106.7, you don't need to calculate this bottom area because we already found it over here, it's a force. So this integral is 20 c to the 5 halves over 5 halves over 106.7 and this is from 0 to 4. And when you solve this you get that c bar is equal to 2.4 meters from B. So find the answer from the distance where the force will be applied and find the answer for the equivalent force. When you're a bit confused about these problems, my advice is look at the units. That's what I try to do. You should know that KPA is equal to Newton per meter square and you should always see your units cancel out. It's also a good way of checking any problem that you're having problems with. So find the answer, final answer. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.